Good morning, got my coffee in the can. I'm not proud of it, but I gotta run into town, get some stuff real quick, and then uh, head back, finish the project I'm working on. Then Danielle's coming out to the property. They were going live at 7 p.m. on the crackers. I'm excited. I have not had this natural, or natural, this French vanilla flavor. Um, I know this isn't the best for me, but I have a mustache too, and that's not the best for me either, but here I am. And so, uh, yeah, um, going live tonight, 7 p.m. on the Crockers, and, uh, I think that'd be fun. I finally figured out a place to put my Wi-Fi that works, and it's been working for two days. I woke up this morning, though. I had the generator on last night, and I tested the AC, um, with it on Eco and Low, and it, the generator ran it for about four, 12 to 14 hours. I was shocked. And then, um, that's off two gallons of gas. And then, and it's a quiet generator. And then it's the Honda, or not Honda, it's the Predator 3500. It's like the Hondas. Um, but then last night, I ran it on high, no eco mode. And I don't know when it died, but I woke up this morning and there was no AC on. And then I was like, man... Because uh, Danielle worked last night, and I text her, like, late, late, or, well, it was probably, like, at 1 or 12, midnight, 1 o'clock in the morning, something like that. She didn't text me back, and that's not normal um, when I wake up. So, I'm like, what the world? She just don't like me no more? And then I realized, duh, you idiot. The generator's off. That means the Wi-Fi's off. That means I don't have Wi-Fi calling or text inside the tiny house. So, then I went outside and texted her. But, um... Yeah, uh, we'll be going live, um, but yeah, I was pretty pumped about that. Sleeping in the tiny house now, full time, um, not the micro no more. I'm completely never going to sleep in that, in that micro tiny house again if I don't have to. That part is over, um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, uh, that's really exciting. Um, I am building something right now. Um, to surprise Danielle. I think you guys are going to be shocked. Um, but I am, like I said in the last video, like I'm taking y'all's advice. Um, I'm going to try to finish one project at a time. That is not easy for me to do, but I'm going to try to really focus on that. Uh, my ADD kicks in bad, bad, bad. And I'm like, uh, I know I need to finish this project, but I really want to do this and I really want to do that. And I also want to go ride the four-wheeler, and I want to take the top off the Jeep, go run around, and then go to the river, and then go swim, and then go fish. I mean, my mind is all over the place. So, I'm really dialing in, like, finish this project, finish this project, finish this project. And the worst thing is, is Danielle is way worse than I am when it comes to that. She literally can't walk in her room, be like, hey... And then she'll totally forget. She can't remember anything. So, if you guys think I'm bad, she's ten times worse. But, um, on the note of Danielle and stuff, um, my channel hasn't been doing well. It hasn't been doing well at all. Um, this channel's been doing perfectly fine. Coffee's off... Cro coffee? Crocker's off the clock um, has been doing perfectly fine. Um, is normal. And then the podcast, I really haven't posted, so hasn't changed. It's just the crockers. Uh, fail the algorithm and my views are way down. I'm getting like 10, 12,000 views a video, which is terrible for a channel that has 120,000 subs. Um, they always say like 10% of your subscriber counts, what you get for views, but um, mine was always like 30% and up. I would always get like 30,000 views to 50,000 views. And then, um, even bigger, you know, there's been videos that would get 100,000, 200,000, and up to a million over time or whatever, but, um, kind of hurts a little bit, kind of stings, it kind of, it kind of, kind of got to me, and I was like, ooh, I haven't had views of 10,000 views of video in two years, um, that, that's a, that's an ego killer, that's a, for a narcissist like myself, <laughs> and an egotistical, uh, I can't say the word, um, I'm not even gonna, yeah, fill in your favorite bad word, um, 
that hurts. Um, but it made me really realize a lot of things. And I'm going to get to that after I drink this. I wish I can have the Jeep on right now. That way I can have some AC going because it's getting kind of hot and humid in here. But I think it messes up the sound. So I'm trying to, trying to do that for you guys. I'm suffering here for you. Uh, but um, kind of hurt a little bit. And um, I my first thought was, screw this. Screw the Crockers channel. I don't even care about the channel anymore. I'm just want to do off the clock and cough the crockers and the podcast. That's it. That's all I want to do. I'm like, no, it's freaking stupid. Um, I've worked hard for this. I've worked extremely hard. I've worked hard for three, three and a half years, however long it's been. I have no clue. Maybe even longer. Um, I've busted my butt. I remember starting and struggling and trying to do a live chat for five people, trying to post videos. I'd work on it all day. I would, I would work all day long for eight hours outside doing whatever I was doing, building or whatever it may be, and um, and filming and then editing and then uploading the video and then entering comments. To get like 100, com I mean 100 views, 200 views, 300 views, 1,000 views, um, you know, I would bust my butt. And at the time, I'm like, what in the world? Like, why am I doing this? Why am I going through all of this, working all this stuff? I don't even make money on this. And when I do make money, I'm probably not going to make much. Because I knew the long-term goal. I knew I knew um, that it was it was what I wanted to do. I know it's the future I'm trying to, to build. And I lost sight of that. I truly did. Um, I, wanted, I, I want to be the last person to ever admit that. But I am going to admit that because... I think everyone should admit their faults, and uh, normally I'm not like that at all, but I'm trying to be a better person, and uh, I needed it. I needed my channel to not die, not crash and burn, not fail, um, but slow down. I needed a wake-up call. I needed a reality check that, um, hey, if you quit busting your butt, if you quit... Um, putting out the best content you can if you're half butting it um this this is the result and uh that was the result i slowed down i did need a break i got burnt out of building every day i got burnt out of driving in town to upload and all that stuff and i mean i was working 12 14 hours a day getting these videos out and i mean i was grinding and grinding and grinding and it was going well really well and then I slowed down, and then I quit posting as much. I quit caring as much. Um, you guys know that, um, you know, if anyone said anything negative about my channel, I'd just be like, screw you, I don't care what you think. Um, that's not the way to do it. That's not the right thing. Um, there's clearly people out there that I really don't care what they think. Um, you know, just a full-blown haters, and you guys know all those people. And, um, you know, they kind of deserve it, I guess. But, uh that wasn't the right mindset, so um, I need to apologize, and I will apologize, and, I, and I'm and i apologizing right now for not caring as much and for uh, saying some things to some of you guys that uh, I probably shouldn't have had, and uh, I, I got cocky with the channel. Um, I was like, man, I'm getting good views. I can slow down. I'm making good money. Um, I can post once a week. It'll be perfectly fine. My views are there. Um, I mean, I got really cocky with it. Um, not that I was throwing it out there to people saying that thing, but just in my mind, like, pff, I got this. Um, my channel's up over 100,000. I'm getting good views. I can slow down. I'll still be able to keep doing what I'm doing. Um, you know, I needed to break mentally, but um, I shouldn't have had that mindset. I should have still worked hard and given everything I had. And boom, reality check set in. And my views dropped, my revenue dropped, my um, algorithm dropped off, like everything dropped off. But it's my own fault, and I knew that. I knew deep down that if I didn't post and I didn't try hard and all that stuff, it would catch up to me. But I was like, whatever, I'll deal with it when when it happens, if it happens. Um, and that was the, the wrong way to think of it. And um, again, normally I would never admit any of this, but. 
Um, I want this to be a lesson learned to people, and I want to be the example, I guess. Um, I mean, it's clear as day. You guys can see the views are down. It's clear as day that I didn't care as much. It's clear as day that um, I wasn't building, that I wasn't, uh, I wasn't working hard and grinding like I used to. And I want to be the example so you guys don't have to deal with that. Don't be me. Um, always work hard. Always give it your best. Even if you need a break, that's fine. Take a break. But still, when you put out videos, give it your all. When when you get back to work, give it your all. Um, everything you do, give it your all. And it, it I I know I'm I'm dating the right girl. Guys, it's getting freaking hot in here. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna roll this window down. Um, I know I'm dating the right girl because I was texting Danielle and I was just like, man, this sucks. Like my views are way down. Um, I'm not in the algorithm like this, like this sucks. Like I'm the type, I guess that, um, everybody knows, like I've given shout outs and shout outs and shout outs to people. And, um, I've always been the one to kind of help people grow their channel. Now I can't even grow my own channel. And, um, it's, it's, it was a hard thing to, to process and to, um, accept, but, uh, I know it was me that did it, but, um, uh, you know, I kind of was venting and stuff and, you know, she was just like, you know, I'm, I'm sorry you're feeling this way and, you know, all this stuff, but, um, you know, everyone has bad days, everyone has slumps, everyone has that, uh, you'll get back and I'm like, yeah, but this sucks, like I have 120,000 subs, I'm getting 10,000 views. And I mean, I was just venting and getting it all out. And she just said, she finally just said, fine. You want me just to um, not tell anything and just listen? And I was like, no. Like, why would I want that? Why would I want you to just listen? Tell me these things. Tell me to shut up and just work harder and get back on it. And that, uh, you know... I'm the one that's in charge of my future, and if I'm not gonna sit there and grind and work hard again, then I don't deserve to have this channel that's on the up and up. You know, I don't deserve more views. I don't deserve any of that. And uh, in that moment, like I knew I found the right girl, and I knew that I could build a future with this person. And if it gets to that point, I mean, you know, we don't know what day to day what's gonna happen, but um, you know, for her to say something like that lets me know I found the right girl. And even when things aren't going good, she'll still have my back. Um, she had my back this whole time and she even said, Hey, I'm going to start going out there and helping you more. Um, you know, I'm going to try to, you know, she's trying to figure things out so she could come out more often because her schedule's kind of crazy. Um, she's like, Hey, let's build, let's do this. Um, the, the fact that she's willing to do that and she doesn't care about YouTube. She doesn't care about any of that. She doesn't care if the revenue is low or if the views are low. She doesn't care about any of that. She cares about me and she cares about me living out my dream and me being in the best mindset and the best, you know, place I could be. And that's what she cares about. And I think that's the beauty of it is, is she's there for me. She wants to see me do the absolute best and be the best I can be and she wants to help me be that person and I think that's freaking amazing and then and she also won't let me just sulk and cry or anything like that she'll she'll be there for me but she'll also say hey suck it up and I'm the type that that's what I need I'm that type of person that um I can get in my own head and I don't want people to to, to be like oh don't worry about it you know we'll get through this, we'll, you know, it'll, it'll get better, no, shut up, work harder, get it done, and do what you did to build it in the first place, build it again, grind, put out videos, work harder, show that you care, and to me, that made me know that I have the absolute best girl for me in my life, and I am extremely happy and excited and thankful that she is in my life and that she wants to date an idiot like myself <laughs> so um yeah i don't know it's just even in your in your low points you find out who's there for you and who has your back and who's there for the right reasons and when it comes down to it and it boils down to all of it i found out that danielle is that person 
and I think will always be that person. And to know that she's there, it doesn't matter about anything else. Um, I'm very lucky and very fortunate. And on top of that, you guys have shown so much support. Um, I just mentioned it in the video and I was like, hey, the algorithm's not doing well, my views are down, you know, whatever. And y'all guys were like, we're on it. We are on it. And uh, y'all guys started commenting like crazy, sharing on Facebook and stuff like that. Um, watching videos over and over, going back, watching old videos. Um, the fact that my support system is so insanely good from you guys that watch, it just, it, I have to remember that, that just because I can't see you guys every day, just because I can't, you know, have a, a real relationship with you guys in person doesn't mean it's not there. And sometimes that's the hardest part is whenever, um, you know, I'm in, guys, I'm sweating my butt off, but someone's right there. So I'm going to roll my window up. I'm almost done. Um, the hardest part is when I'm by myself in the tiny house, no one's around, and all I have is my own thoughts to think about. That's when it gets to me, and I'm like, man, this sucks. But I have to remember that you guys are literally the backbone to everything I've done from the beginning. So I appreciate you guys, and I truly care about you guys. And um, because of all that, I've been really thinking about the next meetup. So um, I'm going to have a little meeting with some friends. We're going to try to figure out the next meetup. And all that, so I'll leave it on that. But guys, I'm sweating my butt off. I gotta turn this Jeep on and get in town, do some stuff. Look at this. I'm just drenched in sweat. Um, so I don't know. At the end of the day, what I'm trying to say is I appreciate you guys for all y'all support, everything that you've done for me. And uh I'm here to work hard and grind and get back to where I want to be. Sometimes it takes a really low point to realize these things. So hopefully this reaches somebody out there maybe you're in the same boat so if you are in a slump don't worry about it it'll get better because you can change it you can work hard you can get where you need to be so i believe in you guys appreciate you guys see you in the next one